Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to tell you how to import Marvel Rivals 3D model in Blender with one click. Yes, you heard it right. You can import fully textured model directly into Blender. You don't need to waste time on solving F model errors and manually do everything. Rivals Porting is a free application that can do all this stuff for you with just one click. For this app to work, you need to have Blender version 4.2 or above and Marvel Rivals game installed on your computer. So let's start with downloading and setting up this application for Marvel Rivals. So for downloading Rivals Porting, you can visit their X page and there they have provided their Discord link. In Discord, you can find the download link of Rivals Porting. So you guys can see that I have already joined their Discord and here in download section, you can find the download link of rival porting exe okay so you can download the rivals porting from here so you guys can see that i have already downloaded the rivals porting application so let's just open it and wait for some time so you can see that my rivals porting application has been opened and here it says fortnite version but worry not it will work from for marvel rivals also it is a copy of fortnite porting that's why it says fortnite version but it will be get fixed soon. So here make sure it's selected latest and then in archive directory you need to go to that location where you have installed your game. Okay, so I will go to steam and then click on this setting then click on this manage and then click on this browse local files. Okay, so we are basically finding the download location of Marvel Rivals. Here you need to click on this Marvel game then go to Marvel and then go to content then go to packs. Okay, so just copy this location. Yes, you can see that I have already copied this location. Just open Marvel Rifle application. Click on this folder icon and paste that location here. You can see that I have pasted that location and then just click on the select folder. You can see I have actually applied the download location of my game. Okay. Once you do this, you can change your game language if you want any other language. But English is fine for me. Then just click on this finish setup and if you want discord integration you can actually take it but i don't need it so let's just ignore this and wait for some time hello see that rival sporting is basically actually extracting and loading all the pack files and then if you click on this icon uh, wait for some time if you click on this icons asset icon you can see that all the characters have been loaded here okay so for importing any of these models in blender first you need to install the plugin and how do we do that so here if you go below you can see there is a plugin option just click on this and here you need to click on this add button to install the plugin okay once you click on this add button you need to specify that path where have you installed the blender okay so i have installed my blender using steam so i am going to blender and then click on this setting icon then click on this manage and then click on browse local files so this is the install location of my blender okay so just copy this install location Go to Marvel Rivals Porting and then paste that location here. You can see I have pasted that location and here you can see my Blender application has been available here. So just click on this and then click on this open button and you can see it, it will take some time and then install the uh, add-on for you in the Blender. Okay, so you guys can see that I have already installed the plugin and Rivals Porting is telling me my Blender version. Okay. So once you install the plugin, your Blender version will be displayed here. So I am currently using Blender 4.3 and I recommend you to use Blender 4.2 or above because it is not supported for Blender 4.0 and below version. Okay, so I am currently using the latest version of Blender. And once you install this plugin, you need to make sure that this plugin is enabled in Blender. Okay, so I am opened my Blender and then click on this edit and then click on this preferences and here search rivals porting. Okay. So you can see that for me my rivals porting plugin has been disabled so make sure that this plugin has been enabled otherwise your model will not import into blender okay once you have enabled this rivals porting plugin click here and then click on this save preferences okay now we are ready to import any model in our blender okay so here in rivals porting suppose we want to import mantis so just select on this mantis and you can see all his skins here so let me select this skin and once you select your skin, you need to make sure that in here export to blender is selected and then click on this export button and wait for some time. Uh, it will take around two to three minutes to import this model and this model will be completely textured. Okay. And while, uh, 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 while this process, 
make sure not to do anything otherwise your blender will crash so wait patiently and your model will import into blender so you guys can see that our mantis has been imported into blender and first of all let's zoom here and let's disable the bones from here and for now you can't see any texture because we are in uh, solid shading view we need to go to material shading for viewing our textures okay so just click here and wait for some time and let the shaders compile you can see our mantis has already been textured and how much amazing she looks and this marvel rivals has also the rim effect uh, if, you, if you have played marvel rivals you can see this rim effect on your character so in this texturing you can see the rim effect also the only problem is that the eye has not been textured properly but i have already made a tutorial on how to texture eyes so you can watch it and texture the eyes rest everything will be textured and also the rim effect will also be available suppose if you want to disable this rim effect you can just go to shading tab and turn off the bones zoom on the model select your model go to this material properties and here you can see there is an option uh, named rim hero details just delete this uh, or disconnect this shader and add a principled bhdf okay and connect this bhdf to surface and turn down the alpha you can see that the rim effect has been disabled and how uh, beautiful our mantis looks and this models come with bones already so you can basically use these bones to animate this model okay in future marvel rivals i think they will introduce the ik rig which will help us to animate and pose this model uh, easily okay so i hope you liked the tutorial tutorial and if you face any problems you can ask me in comments or you can join join my discord i will help you there okay see you later thank you